All right, let's make another one of these. It's not like anyone's got anything better to do. You're watching A Recipe for Nightmares, exploring the Vincent Price cookbook with your host, uh, John McNee. Don't know about you, but 2020 has not exactly been kind to my mental faculties. This is the show where horror author John McNee, that's me, explores the recipes of Vincent Price from his famous cookbook, A Treasury of Great Recipes. It's an interesting recipe today, but before we get to that, I wanted to let you know that today's show is brought to you by John McNee's Doom Cabaret, my new collection of short horror stories published by Sinister Horror Company. It's October, the month of Halloween and my birthday, and with COVID, you're probably not allowed out of the house much, so there could be no better time to enjoy some great horror. I usually leave the promo to the end of the video, but according to YouTube analytics, the vast majority of people who watch my videos don't make it past the first 30 seconds. I can't imagine why. You can find a link to where to buy it down below. As for today's recipe, it's a filling and economical meal fitting for these dark and uncertain times, Hunter's Pie. And if you're assuming that Hunter's Pie is going to be very similar to Shepherd's Pie, which is basically meat and potatoes, or Cottage Pie, basically meat and potatoes, then you would be correct. It's basically just meat and potatoes. According to Vincent Price, this is an Irish recipe, as the copious use of potatoes might have told you. It's also a lamb recipe, which is uh, surprising given the name is Hunter's Pie and sheep are not a particularly challenging quarry. So if you ever wondered what kind of hunters would hunt sheep, now you know. Irish ones. We require lamb or mutton chops, potatoes, butter, salt, pepper, beef stock and Worcestershire sauce. Step one, in a hot skillet melt approximately two tablespoons of butter. When it's hot, add four lamb chops trimmed of their fat. It's up to you whether you choose to also remove the bones. I've left them in because I've never had Hunter's Pie before and the recipe doesn't say anything about cutting them out. I don't know if it's, if it's a feature. Do you want the bones in? Are you supposed to find them there? Is that, is that the hunting? Are you meant to hunt around in the pie to find the bones? Is that the fun of it? Step two, brown on both sides for about six minutes. Nicely browned. We're going to remove the chops from the pan and keep them warm. Step three, add to the pan about three quarters of a cup of beef stock. And stir in all the brown drippings. That's an actual line from the book. It's appetizing stuff, isn't it? Bring that to a boil, then set it aside, but uh, keep it hot. Next, we want to preheat our oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius. Step five, boil, peel and mash about one and a half pounds of potatoes. In that order. Boil, peel and mash. Next, beat in four tablespoons of butter, which is about that. I mean, for goodness sake, don't be shy. One teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of pepper. That makes for some really salty, really peppery, really buttery mash. Which is probably because I misread the recipe, uh, which calls for an eighth of a teaspoon of pepper, not half a teaspoon. What kind of fool puts in half a teaspoon of pepper without even checking? Anyway, it's fine. Bit peppery. I like pepper, so that's fine. Step seven, butter an oven-proof dish and line it with about half of your insanely peppery mash. Look at that. Place your four chops on top, like so, and sprinkle on just a little Worcestershire sauce. Step nine, cover with the remaining potato and smooth it out like a pie crust. Look at that, all my chops are totally sealed in there. Place in the oven and bake for 30 minutes. Ooh, ah, mmm. Now for the presentation, we're supposed to make a depression in the middle and then pour in our gravy. And that's it, Hunter's Pie. Today's dish will be paired with a Cairngorm Gold Ale and the Vincent Price film Scavenger Hunt. It's a hell of a cast, this. Richard Benjamin, 
from Love at First Bite, Scanlan and Crothers from The Shining, Cloris Leachman, Young Frankenstein, Cleavon Little, uh, Blazing Saddles, Roddy McDowell from Fright Night, uh, Tony Randall from The Odd Couple, various different things, uh, Meatloaf is in this, and uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. So obviously, one of these comedies full of celebrity cameos, we can only hope that Vincent Price has a significant role. He's dead. Vincent Price is already dead. This is going to be a long film. That's all for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and of course, do please join me again next time for another recipe for nightmares. You know what? This would be a lot better with no bones. And less pepper.